Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you some products from the company 100% Pure that was sent to me through um, Octoly. I received a couple weeks ago and did a video on some products from 100% Pure. And I was so impressed with the line and the company that I went back onto Octoly and requested to receive some more and they did select me to um, ship these out to me and for me to review and show to you. So if you're not familiar with 100% Pure, it is a 100% natural makeup, skincare and body care um, company that makes their products only from antioxidant and vitamin packed fruits, plants and vegetables. So they are vegan, cruelty free. Um, I don't know about being um, gluten free though. Anyway, I have three skincare products and a cosmetic product. So we're going to start with the cosmetic item, and it's what I have on my lips. And let me get the little box out of the package here. And this is what the box looks like. It's really, really cute. It smells like strawberries to me. This retails for $25, and it's called the Gemmed Fruit Pigmented Lip Gloss with Semi-Precious Stones in it. So let's see why. And I got the color um, Garnet. So, and that's what I have on my lips right here. It's very pretty. It's very comfortable. It doesn't feel sticky. I'm not much of a lip gloss person. But here lately, for whatever reason, I've been really wanting to get some lip glosses and wear lip glosses. But um, it does gather a little bit here. But... That's normal for me and I'm not for sure about the longevity of it well it, it wears just like a normal lip gloss I mean you're going to definitely going to have to take it with you and um, apply it throughout the day and I was going to see if it said anything on here about it as far as what kind of gems it has it just says semi precious gemstones it doesn't say and it says it gives your um, a little bit of a sparkle I did not notice a whole lot of glitter in here if anything it kind of reminds me of like a um, like a frost lipstick just a hint not not really really frosty though as you can see I mean it looks really pretty on I'm very pleased with the color I was hoping it would be a little bit more red than that and like I said, it smells like strawberry, so it's, it smells good and doesn't have a funky taste to it. Um, it's not too sticky. So, yeah. I wonder if it says on the box if what kind of gemstones it has in it. Well, it probably does, but I'm not going to be able to read it. So, anyway, so, that, so I have that. And then the next things I have are some skincare. So let's talk about the facial cleanser that I um, applied for and, and received. And it's this right here. It's a foaming face cleanser. So you just put one pump in your hand. It, even though it's liquid, when you pump it out, it foams. And then you just cleanse your face. It's not a makeup remover. It's strictly for just cleansing the skin. This retails for $29. And let's see... It has cucumber juice, rose hydrosol, green tea, and calendula. calendula. Um, it's very gentle. It doesn't strip. Um, it is. Um, it doesn't dehydrate. I did not feel any tightness after I used it. The only complaint I have about this thing is the smell. And because you know it's 100% natural you're using you know the plants and the antioxidants and the fruit extracts and everything and it doesn't have any fragrance in it to make it smell pretty but the smell of it oh I just don't I don't like the smell and I can't describe what the smell is and I don't know if it's the aloe in it the aloe juice or or what but I don't know I don't like the smell of it but it's not so off-putting that I'm not going to use it I am going to finish the bottle and use it because I like the way that it cleanses my skin without making it feel dry and irritated and with some of the skincare and new skincare stuff that I've been using lately I need something that's gentle on my skin so and the this 
the smell of it doesn't stay on your skin so it's just the initial pumping it out and putting it up here to my nose and start doing it I'm just like uh. <laughs> but it's not so off like I said it's not so off putting that I'm not going to finish the bottle and plus my little lid was broke when it was shipped to me but oh, <laughs> I squirted it out well here see it's a foam there you go so you see it's a foam I wish I could tell you what that smell is it almost has yeah it almost smells like fish oil to me so it kind of has a fishy twang smell to it anyway okay so let's start let's go to the next product let's get off of that and this is the aqua boost hydrating mask and this retails for $35 and again it has the um, aloe and the cucumber in it Okay, so the next product that I want to talk about is the 100% Pure Aqua Boost Hydrating Mask. And I've been using this for the last couple of nights after I um, cleanse and everything. I've been putting this on, just slathering it on and leaving it on for about 15-20 minutes and then um, rinsing it off. And it's a cream like that. And the smell of it is is okay it still has an odd smell to it but it's nothing like the cleanser it almost has like an underlying marshmallow smell to it almost but anyway it's supposed to have um vegetarian hyaluronic acids um, rose hydrosol in it it has the cucumber juice in it also and of course it's vegan um, cruelty free 100% natural so I did get that and um, I do think it's very moisturizing especially if you're someone that doesn't really have a whole lot of that's not real super dry I think this is going to work really good for you and if you're someone that's been looking for a really good natural vegan um, mask uh, you would probably like that um, it's I like a little bit more intense moisturization when I use a moisture mask like that so but I'm going to continue to use it I might probably incorporate this into my morning skincare regime actually I think I will do that because I think it would be perfect for in the morning time to put on underneath um, to do prep the skin for makeup of course you have to rinse it off I don't think you, well you might be able to leave it on and just use it as a moisturizer hmm let me try that because it does it's not tacky it's not sticky so I think you know your makeup would go on over it very nicely so don't quote me on that though I haven't tried it that way so okay and then the last product that I got is a eye product and this is the coffee bean caffeine eye cream and this retails for $15 and I don't know what size this is I can't really tell oh yeah I can it's 0.3 fluid ounces so now I will tell you that this product to me smells exactly like Rice Krispie treats uh, I it's that marshmallow smell again this has a little bit of that smell in it but this really does when I because I was expecting it being that it's coffee bean I was expecting kind of a coffee smell when I opened it and when I was like this smells like marshmallow and then I was like no not marshmallow rice crispy treats or maybe that marshmallow jiffy marshmallow puff poof stuff <laughs> anyway I really like this I have been having a lot of problems with um, puffiness under here which I know I still do but I'm telling you this is 50% better than what it was when I woke up when I awoken with because um, I am a side sleeper and so everything kind of I can't help it I've tried and tried and tried to sleep on my back because I know that's really good for your your complexion is to sleep on your back but I just can't and so I sleep on my side so everything starts pulling over here and so you can see how but 
I really like it. Now I'm going to be getting the um, the one from the ordinary that's a caffeine, so I'm going to be trying that also. But so far, I really like this, and I think I think it's making a difference underneath my eyes as far as puffiness. In my mind, it is, and the smell. I mean, you can't you can't not like putting Rice Krispie treats under your eyes. I mean, come on. So anyway, um, I was gonna see if it says it's gluten free. So this one is gluten free and vegan. It has the organic allergies in it, the organic rose, hydrosol too. It has rosehip oil, um, organic green coffee four, vitamin E, vitamin C, extracts of coffee cherry, um, rosemary or oregano, I'll get it out time, vanilla absolute, so that's probably why I'm getting the marshmallow smells from the vanilla, candela wax, um, gosh, a whole bunch of organic certified USDA for certified organic by Hawaii Organic Farmers Association Network. Net weight is um, 0.5 ounces. That's not 0.5 ounces. This is 0.3. They're mistaken on the website here. So anyway, I guess they're getting a lot of their products from Hawaii, and that they're certified through the Hawaiian Organic Farmers Association. All right then. Very interesting. So, yes, and um, they say this is a 10 week supply with daily use. So, there we go. So, that's it for this week's um, PR haul, and um, I hope that you enjoyed. And if you're interested, make sure you check out the 100% Pure website. Also, the links for every single one of these items will be in the description box. I do not make any type of monetary um, gain off of those links. It's just one of the requirements of getting the product is I do have to put those links there for you. So anyway, again, thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, click on the bell icon so you're notified of future videos, and I will talk to you later in the week. Bye.